man, these amps just keep getting smaller. Today on Amp Test Tuesday, we're going to test out the all-new Sundown Audio SFB 1000D. And I guarantee you, you're about to be amazed at how much power this little guy puts out. Make sure you stick around to the end to see. What's up guys, welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. My name's Derek and this is going to be another episode of Amp Test Tuesday. Now we've been doing little teasers here and there, some pictures and things talking about the all new amps coming out this year from Sundown Audio. So the SFB amps, which stands for Sundown Full Bridge, they are super hot. I mean they are popular beyond all belief right now, they're flying out the door. We currently have the 3000D and the 8000D in stock and shipping right now. You can pick them up at your local brick and mortar dealer or favorite online dealer. Coming very soon, I mean very soon, should be within the next uh, hopefully couple weeks, the 5000D will be available and the 13K. Uh, technically it's 13,500 watts rated at one ohm, but we're, I'm just calling it a 13K because I, I can't stand the 13.5 whatever. So that and the first SFB multi-channel, the 500.4, that will be in at the same time as those. Coming hopefully within the next couple weeks, um, may maybe a few, don't hold us to that you know, exact date. But also on the way right behind them are the little tiny versions, the 1000, the 1500, the 2000, and the 200.4. So time to start doing some Amp Dino videos. Now we always have prototypes ahead of time. We test a bunch of them. We make little revisions, kick back, make changes, bring them in, test them again. And we have finally, everything's done, everything's solidified. We have the production models um, and we can do some testing and show y'all what they're gonna do. So I got one here in its box. Let's open it up, see what you get. All right guys, all new Sundown Audio SFB, the Sundown Full Bridge 1000D. So before we even open it up, let's go ahead and talk about price. I know that's the biggest thing that gets requested. Everybody wants to know what is the cost. So as of right now, February of 2020, the SFB 1000Ds, these things will be only $189. That's right, $189 for a nice, solid performing 1000 watt rated amplifier but stick around we're gonna hook this thing up on the dyno show y'all what it can really do here you're gonna be surprised so let's unbox it here we go open it up and yeah for the new tiny amps we also got some new tiny decals we're doing we, we decided to switch up the sundown logo go ahead and let me know in the comments what do y'all think about these compared to the old bigger full sundown audio um we made a little change because we saw a lot of guys were getting the Sundown audio decals with the audio on there, and they were cutting it off and just doing the Sundown anyway. So we figured, let's give it a shot, throw some just Sundown only decals in there, see if people like them. If not, let us know. We'll switch back to the old style. So you get your decal, and we've got the remote knob. And just like on the latest 8000Ds that just came out, these have the clip light. So here you go, similar to the old SEV remote knobs, these aren't compatible with any of the other amplifiers. These are SFB model only, but you get the remote knob, the bigger knob, the nice smooth roll. You got the power light and the clip light right here. So I know guys are gonna love them. You're also gonna get your wiring for the remote and you're gonna get some of your wrenches, some mounting screws, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's get to the main part. Pop this out of here, the amp. Y'all couldn't tell from that intro, this thing is tiny. It, it, it's, it's unbelievable how small these things are getting and how much power we are getting from some of these tiny amplifiers. Um, real quick before I set this down, I'm gonna show you. At the mounting feet, we got about five and a half inches and this case is a little shorter than the, the 3,000 and bigger cases. We're only seven and a quarter inches, okay? So five and a half inches at the mounting feet by seven and a quarter inches. Super, super tiny. Uh, height, height, we're about two and a half inches tall. So, man, 
unbelievable the size and the power these things do. All right, so one other big thing I want to go and point out, because this amplifier is so small and it's only a 1000, this one's only going to come with four gauge inputs. Now these are oversized four gauge inputs. They're going to hold even your, your bigger oversized four gauge wire, like the Sundown Audio wire. And that's exactly what I'll be wiring up with here on the test bench. So four gauge inputs here. You got your inputs, um, RCA inputs, your typical, because these are full range, your typical high and low pass crossovers. Remember, these are full range amplifiers. They're not just for the sub bass or anything like that. They play that great. We made changes on these amplifiers. I'm going to highlight this now. Um, some of the initial full bridge prototypes we tested did have a roll off on the bottom end. And that was even noticeable on the amp dyno over here that um, we tested 40 hertz. We made changes specific to the Sundown Full Bridge amplifiers so they would not have that roll off on the bottom end. That was a concern I've heard people voice lately. Trust me, these are going to play the low end just great. And all the amp dyno tests we do on the Full Bridge series are at 40 hertz. Now, moving over to the side, so we have the high pass and low cross. These things work great on powering your doors, everything. They're full range amplifiers. You got your gain and your level. That's, that's, that's your bass boost. In case you want it, you don't have to use it. Then we've got our true 8-gauge outputs, and these are big, oversized 8-gauge outputs that fit the oversized Sundown Audio 8-gauge wire just great. Uh, now, also, before y'all want to lynch me anymore, everybody asks for gut shots. I think they're pointless. I've said that, but you know what? Y'all want to see them? I don't mind. Let's open it up. Let's show it to you. We'll even make this a little... We'll make this a little quiz show. Tell me what these parts in here do. Since everybody wants to see them so bad. And oh no, I'm gonna have to break my, my seal. We're gonna lose our warranty. Yep. Right. Ta-da! There we go. So all you guys want to see them guts and ooh and ah and uh, over them so much. There they are, this little 1,000 watt amp. Tell me what you think. And if you know what you're looking at, tell me what those parts are. All right, guys, we are back. I got everything wired up and turned on and ready to go. Now, I love to shoot these uh, kind of in a live format where um, I can get in there and move the camera around and things. Uh, it's, it's just the way I prefer to do it. Some of y'all seem like you like the way I go. I go. So here we go, SFB1000D, our head unit set up. Our amp dyno is set up. We will be doing certified runs. These are at four ohm. Now just note, these amplifiers are rated at 14.4 volts. These things have hardly any current draw. I am gonna try and get the current draw in here. It's just difficult because this thing, uh, if it does peak hold, I don't know how to use it, can't figure it out. Maybe it's broken, but we're gonna do it in real time. And there's a couple reasons for that. When you do a peak hold and you put it on here, even after this thing has read clipping and the amp dyno stopped reading, the amp dyno keeps running. It, it keeps um, pulling more, more clipped power out of the amp. And therefore it spikes the clamp. So the clamp will actually read more power than what it actually takes to do the output power here. So we're gonna try and run things in real time. I'm, I'm gonna do multiple runs to show that off. For now, let's do our four ohm test. Everything should be good to go. Let's start our head unit. Certified four ohms. Here we go. And so that's it. Voltage dropped a little bit to 14.2 volts. Certified. 4 ohm, 552 watts. Wow, we've already seen over half of its rated power at 4 ohm. What do you think it's going to do? Next up, 2 ohm test. Get your guesses in now. Go ahead and put it in the comments. What do you think it's going to do? Got my head unit reset. We're going to top our voltage off just a hair. Let's go and set this thing up for a 2 ohm run. Start that. <clears throat> I 
All right, y'all ready? Hold on, let me, let me get in a better position. I'm trying to get that glare off of there. Here we go. Certified run, two ohms. And that's it. So, what do y'all think? Holy cow. 14.3 volts certified 1009 watts we have exceeded its rated power at only two ohms and this thing is one ohm stable now absolutely do not run any of the sundown audio sfp amplifiers below one ohm they are one ohm only and that's it hardcore one ohm no uh no foolery there's our output wires input everything's here <laughs> no funny business you see it all certified two ohms it has already exceeded its rated power 1009 watts 14.3 volts all right guys i've got the clamp meter set up we're going to do another certified run at two ohm so i got everything reset and zeroed out i've moved my head unit over so this is what i'm gonna do i am going to set the camera up and let it watch the clamp meter in real time well, I work the head unit over here, and as soon as I see some distortion, I'm going to pause it and stop it. And we will just have to uh, see on camera where that current stops climbing. Now, I'm not going to see it because I can't watch two things at once. So I won't even know what it's saying until I review the footage. But we're going to try this run right now. Let me get everything keyed up and going. All right, y'all paying attention to that current. So here we go. All right. Now, I didn't get to see any of that current because I'm just over here uh, working the head unit and the dyno. And hopefully you can see there, we got 1,015 watts on that run, still at 2 ohm, 14.3. Hold on, I'm gonna move the camera. It's gonna make a little noise so I can get y'all in here closer. There you go, 1,015 watts of output at two ohm. So anybody, you know, getting into the blah, blah, of reactive and resistive and all that, you wire this at one, you end up at two ohm reactive or whatever, you can still see rated power at whatever that clamp meter showed. I won't know, I'm gonna go review the footage now. Be back in a second. Wow, so. I just reviewed the footage and saw, um, I don't know about y'all, I did everything live, real time, no trickery, uh, 84 amps of current draw to make 1,015 watts of power from this little guy. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, that's pretty efficient. That, uh, that is really good. Um, 84 amps of current input, we were at 14.3 volts here, blah, blah, carry, yep. Uh, yeah, um, my rough math, that's around 80, 84, 85% efficient. That's pretty good. You don't see a whole lot of car audio amplifiers doing that well. Um, I'm impressed, hopefully you are too. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Did I do my math wrong? I don't know, verify behind me, check, put in the comments. What kind of efficiency rating did you get when you worked it out? I'm surprised. I'm amazed. We've already seen rated power. We're seeing crazy efficiency. And this is four gauge wire. This doesn't even require a ton of electrical. 84 amps, four gauge wire. It is very possible, especially in some of the later modern cars with these bigger alternators that come with, you wouldn't even need any electrical upgrades for an amplifier like this. You could drop this into a stock car and start booming and be good to go. I'm impressed. I'm happy. Let's keep going. Let's uh, let's see what else this thing can do. Stay tuned. Be right back. All right, all right. Let's reset this here. And see, we did four. We did two. So next up is going to be 1.3. Let's go ahead and do that. 1.3, starting that amp dyno. Get my track reset. Um, I don't know if y'all are much worried about any more current draw. But uh, eh, let's see. We'll dig in. 
Go ahead and make your guesses now before we get this going. Um, SFB 1000, certified 1 1.3. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, let me make sure my head unit's reset. Yep, we are running. All right, there we go. Certified run. Oh my. Dropped a little bit more voltage than I wanted. So again, these things rated at 14.4. We dropped to 14.2 volts, 1.3 ohm. We're not even down to its lowest rated yet at one ohm. We're just at 1.3, already seeing 1,308 watts. Are you impressed yet? Sundown Audio SFB 1000, this tiny little guy. Oh man, it's so small, so much power. I, if you can't tell, I'm happy. I, I'm just, I'm blown away at how well this little amp's doing. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments, 1300 watts from this little guy. And we still got another test to go. One ohm coming up. All right, all right. Get it set up. Ah, uh, see, yep, certified, one ohm. You put your guess in yet? <clears throat> see, I think my track is reset, yep. Still good, everything's on. Let's see what happens. Last chance, put your guess in the comments now. It is running. And there we go. We definitely, uh, I didn't have none of my, my chargers or anything on and we dropped voltage a little bit, 13.8 volts. Do we need to bump the voltage up some more? Cause uh, that power is insane. 1,459 watts, certified, one ohm, 13.8 volts. Still on the little SFB 1000D. I don't know what more you can ask for. I don't know, you, you tell me guys. <laughs> his 1400 and change at 13 volts in the 13 range is, is that good enough for you 189 dollars this little guy it's tiny it's efficient it's powerful and it's very inexpensive i i don't know what more you could want let me know in the comments what do you think i'm hyped super hyped all right guys you know i'm not going to leave it alone 13.8 volts we can get a little more power out of it so I got everything reset, certified run here. We're zeroed out. Let's start this thing over again. Do have the voltage up just a hair and I'm hoping it's gonna tank for us. And there we go. Perfect. 14.36 volts, certified, one ohm. Jesus, 1600, five watts. Still the SFB 1000D. Oh my. So what y'all think of that? Sixteen hundred watts right there. I mean it's fourteen point three six, it's close to fourteen four as I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna keep trying over and over trying to nail exactly fourteen point four zero. It's close to fourteen point four volt rated power as we can get. Sixteen hundred watts from this little guy. If 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 you can't appreciate this, you're a hater. I got nothing for you, but uh, whatever. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, <laughs> $189, it's a freaking steal. Freaking steal that much power from this little guy. That's it, roll the outro, we're out of here. So all new Sundown Audio SFB amplifiers coming very soon. Contact your local brick and mortar Sundown Audio dealer or if they've an online dealer, contact them now. Go and let them know you're anticipating this thing. Those dealers can go ahead and contact us, see about getting in on a little pre-order or whatever. So as soon as these amps show up, yours will get shipped immediately and be first one. Remember guys, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, give us that like, smash subscribe, all that good stuff. We got more amplifiers coming, 1500, 2000, 200.4. We're expanding the line even further this year, SFB models, because these things get more and more impressive every time. 
But until next time, guys, we'll see you all then.